Oh, <laughs> 
over the hills, down in the valley, trying to do God's will. But God has been good to me. He brought me out of my sin. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Despite the mountains and the valley, I have something to be grateful for today. Because he has brought me out of my sin. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God and that's one of the greatest gifts I can receive. Bless the name of the Lord. And now I only have to do my best to make it in. Praise God, I have to practice spiritual discipline. Praise God to make it in. Bless the Lord because it's a wonderful privilege that he has brought us out. But we have to do our best to make it in. Bless God, let me greet the spirit of truth. Let me greet our pastor, Pastor Julius Edwards on Zoom. Let me greet our pastor, Pastor Charles Edwards. Bless the Lord. Evangelist Reynolds, Evangelist Evans on Zoom and all the saints in the sanctuary. Visiting once, little children, all the saints on Zoom. Praise God, I saw my mom earlier on Zoom. I just want to extend, you know, a special greeting to my mother. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God, and I thought I had seen Missionary Rose earlier on greetings in the matchless name of Jesus. Our we soon coming King. Praise God. Today the hour is far spent and is well spent. Bless the Lord, but we have more to receive from the Lord today. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Victorious. Bless the Lord. 
in a pastor as well, he's home recovering. You know, let's continue to pray strength. Bless the Lord. Praise God, but God brought him through. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. I said he stretched forth his mighty hands. And the waters divided in two. And we walked right over on the other side. And today I'm rejoicing because I serve a great big wonderful God. Always victorious. Always watching over us. A great big wonderful God. We're going to stand and sing to commence our divine worship. It's, I think it's in the redemption. Hymn number 50. The church is one foundation. Is Jesus Christ her Lord? She is his new creation by water and by word. You know, and I think it was Brother Braxton who quoted the words of this song right before we ended our lesson study. You know, and I started singing the song and it's still in my mind going over. So if you know it, you just want to blend your voices together. Bless the Lord. We are going to invite everyone to stand that can stand. Let the children please stand. Praise the Lord. The church is one foundation. It's Jesus Christ the Lord. He is his new creation by the
standing and I'm going to ask the same Christy to pray our God's blessings on our divine service. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Those who can stand, let's stand. Praise the Lord and bow our heads in prayer. Praise God. Righteous, eternal, everlasting Father, King Creator of the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that in them is. Father, one more time, we, your people, the sheep of your pastors, humbly come before your mercy seat. Lord, we come because we need your divine healing, your divine leading. Gracious Redeemer, we pray, great God Almighty, that you go before. Lord, we thank you for everything that's been said and done thus far. We thank you, O oh great God, for stopping by. But, O oh great God, as we go into our divine service, we pray that you go with us, that you lead us, that you direct us, that, O oh Father God Almighty, you bless everything that is to be said and done. Remember our evening's moderator, the speaker that is to come. Father God Almighty, we pray, Lord God, that you clear the air. We pray, great God Almighty, that you send word from home. We pray, Father God Almighty, that, oh God, you know, your words, oh Father God, will touch our hearts, oh great God, and help us, dear God, to live thereby. Father God Almighty, we can't go unless you lead. So we ask, great God Almighty, that you come down, oh great God, and tabernacle with us. Father God Almighty, do Jesus. Remember each and every one that's here this evening. We pray, great God Almighty, that you open our hearts and our minds, O oh great God, to the word that's coming to us. Father God Almighty, bless each and every one here today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise, Lord. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thanks, Sister Christy, for praying God's blessing. Now, this time, our scripture reading will be taken from the book of St. Matthew, chapter 6. I'm sorry, St. John, chapter 6, from verse 44 through to 68. Praise God. St. John, chapter 6, from 44 to 68. When we find it, we can stand together. No one may be battered, tormented, sick or lame. Holy Ghost of us, still the same. I won't leave it like I can, Jesus' name. I won't leave it like I can, in Jesus' name. Jesus, I'm 
68, and you can follow as I read. Praise the Lord. No man can, can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man had seen the Father, save he which is of God. He had seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forevermore. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up in that last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. As the living Father sent me and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your father did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is an hard saying. Who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What and if he shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is a spirit that quickeneth the flesh, prophesied, not profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are alive. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my father. From that time many of the disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then Jesus said unto the twelve, Will he also go away? 68th and last. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. Bless the name. Bless the name of the Lord. We want to thank God for a portion of the reading of his holy words today. Bless the Lord. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. The word is spirit and they are life. Many turned away when they heard of these things. But those who were faithful and true yes. declared, where shall we go? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. To whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. You know, those are some strong words today. 
And if we want to make it in eternal life, we have to abide in his word. We have to abide in him and he abide in us. Bless the Lord. Because if we fall off those branches and fall off that tree, the wind and the chaff is going to come and drive us away. Bless the Lord. But we want to abide in his words today. Bless his holy name. And at this time, with no further say or do, you know, we have a wonderful man of God who God has provided, you know, to be in the house of God today. You know, the word came unto Abraham and said, Fear not, Abraham, the Lord has provided himself for love. Bless the Lord. And today, our host pastor is not here, but we have another pastor, Edwards, here today. Bless the Lord. Fill with the anointing and the words of God. Bless the name. Hallelujah. Because he has never left his people comfortless. He has never leave us, neither forsake us. Bless the name of the Lord and so iron sharpen it iron. And so the countenance of one brightens the other. You know, he's been floating around, you know, for a while in New York, New Jersey, Maryland. He has been all over. You know, when he spoke to me, said evangelist, I'm going to be in Yonkers the last Sabbath. And I said, okay, pastor, that's fine. No, first I said, I thought I was going to see you before the last Sabbath. You said, no, evangelist, I'm coming the last Sabbath. I said, that's okay. I never carried the, the conversation any further, but God knew he was to be here today. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Praise God. With that being said, I'm going to invite the church to stand. Praise God, he's no stranger to us. We have heard him time and times again. You know, we grew up in the church together and, you know, as the, come on, pastor. <laughs> we knew each other from we were kids, brethren. And you talk about spiritual discipline. You know, if we lose discipline, it's now. When you talk about spiritual discipline, we had that. Amen. Amen. We had spiritual discipline. You know, we were a group of young people that we would tarry in Hampstead. And we will discuss the word of God all night. We go to bed 3 o'clock in the morning. And we are up 5 o'clock for prayer service. And it's no joke. And we are not sleeping in prayer service. I remember we used to walk in the dark miles and miles to Sunside. And as a group of young people, all we would talk about is the word and we would sit all the way in the dark. You talk about spiritual discipline. We were a group of young people that loved the Lord and dedicated ourselves. And he is one that you see standing right now. He is coming from a mighty, mighty, mighty long way. He has fought many battles, church. You see him standing here. He has fought many, many battles. The enemy has tried to take him out many, many times. But God was with him and he's with him. And today I'm grateful to God. Many have left the church. But when I see one of my peers standing up in the gap, you know, it makes my heart rejoice. Because, you know, I can't tell of how many baptisms we've had in Hampstead, St. Mary, 25, 23, 20, 10, 15. I've seen young people receive the Spirit of God multiple, numerous times. I lived in Hampstead. That was my second home. And many, many are gone today. But this young man still standing in the blessed church of God. He has not lost his anointing. And that's what I admire about him. He has not lost his anointing. Despite what is happening around him. And today I'm privileged to introduce to you again. I have many stories. Many, many stories. You know, I could tell today, all my summertime I spent in Hampstead, and we were always together. Uh, that was my second home. We have a lot of history together. 
you know, but today I'm grateful to God to introduce to you the man of God. You know, he has his beautiful wife and two beautiful daughters. He's the pastor and the shepherd for the church in Gail St. Mary. And I just want to introduce to you today the anointed man of God, Pastor Charles Edwards, the congregation. The congregation, Pastor Charles Edwards. Prime of Church of God. Prime of Church of God. Bless the name of the Lord. That God will use him for his glory. Well, yes, the Lord, she's the wandering she's bringing the mighty long way indeed and many stories that can be told but God is good Amen. praise his name let me take this opportunity and greeting the spirit of God who is our life and to our host pastor and brother pastor Julius Edwards evangelist Edwards all the evangelists and saints on Zoom, wonderful saints that are in my presence. Children, I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. It's indeed a privilege again to be in Yonkers. You know, as evangelists rightly declare that I called her and tell her that I would be here on the last Sabbath before I go back home. But during the process, during the time, I begin to pull and I was trying to say, might be I should have been here this Sabbath. Might be I should have been there that Sabbath. But you know, when I went to New Jersey last week, I realized it wasn't my plan, but it was the plan of God. Praise his name. And coming into Yonkers today, myself and Pastor, we, we had a talk yesterday. He called me this morning and he said, Pastor, you're not Simino. Because they tell me I got to stay home. Praise the Lord. Bless his name. And you know, it's it's a privilege for me that he called and he said, you are the man today. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. It's not, it's not that I doubt that I am at home. Amen. But when the man of the house say you are in charge of my house today, Amen. Amen. then that brings a different feeling. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. And that is what I used to as a child growing up. Praise his name. The work of God is never about one individual. The work of God, evangelist, it wasn't about a particular person. But it was about everybody putting in together so that the work of God could be accomplished. Praise the name of Jesus. And that is how I expect to see the church. The church is one foundation. And Jesus Christ, our Lord, she is a new creation by water 
and by word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. And with his own blood he bought her. And for her life he died. What a wonderful privilege that has been given to us a people. A people that was once alien and sojourners to the commonwealth of Israel. Praise the name of Jesus. We was once not recognized as a people. Are you with me, Church of God? We were classified as dogs. Hallelujah. 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 And without God in this world. And God without man is God. But man without God is nothing. So we were nothing, Church of God. Bless the name of Jesus. We were nothing but God in his infinite love. Change the circumstances. And so we become ears and joint ears of the promise. Praise his name. Praise his name. And have entered into the covenant of promise. That God has promised to Abraham. And so today, Church of God, it's a privilege. Amen. It's a blessing Amen. to find when one finds yourself among the number. Because it didn't have to be like this. But it's because of God's love. Amen. Praise His name. Praise, Praise His name. Praise you know, today. I want to speak to you if the Spirit of God would permit me. And I said, permit me because my plan doesn't have to be God's plan. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And I am always willing to put down my plan, evangelist. And so the plan of God can go forth. But evangelist, I read a passage of scripture that there is so much from this reading that I could speak about. When you think of Jesus putting forth the words, most of all he said that no man can come to him except God had drawn them or had given them to him. And you see that he speak about in God, Jesus, being the bread of life. And said to his disciples and those that were close by, that except they eat of his flesh and drink of his blood, they have no life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My word is life and spirit indeed. Yeah. And outside of them, you are dead. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. It's outside of them, you are a nobody. Yeah. Oh, glory. Yeah. Oh, glory. Yeah. Oh, glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so... I think that this word or these words should put us in consciousness and bring our mind to that place where we reflect and we think on these things. As Paul said, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are true and pure, or oh, we should think on them. And these are pure words, word that hasn't been mixed. But the Bible said when he, he keep on speaking to them, some of them and his disciples, they, they said that this is a hard saying. What is this man oxen of us? We, we hate cannibals. 
Oh, it is God that gives the word and tell me what we should eat and what we should drink. And surely his flesh was not on the menu list. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to God. Glory to God. And the Bible said, because of this, many of them turned away. Yes. But based on the word, he did not surprise. Because he knew who his father has given to him. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, evangelists, there are some people, it doesn't make no sense you fight with them. Because they were not named among the number. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. They were not given to God. Yes. And so he goes down. But this is the verse I like. The Bible said when they left, Jesus turned to the other 12 and said, what are you waiting on? <laughs> See them gone, they go on to know. But there was one whose name was Simon Peter. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. The Bible had him as a spoke person. He was the same one that when Jesus, when they asked Jesus to show or to show them the Father, he was the same one that stood up and said, Thou art the Christ. Who do man say that I am? And, and some say, You are Elias. You are John or some of those, one of those great prophets. But the Bible said, Jesus said, Who do you? Let's get personal. Because to have God, you got to get personal. To experience God, you have to get personal with God. So Jesus said, Who do you say that I am? It's the same Peter that said, Thou art the Christ. The son, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, Oh, Peter, flesh and blood cannot tell you this, cannot reveal this to you, but my Father that I'm talking about, which is in heaven. It's the same Peter that said, To whom shall I go? To whom shall we go when thou art the living word? Oh, Jesus. And I want to talk about, and my team today is, to whom shall I go? Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. When thou art the bread of life. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And let me calm down a little because I want to touch base with some people. Because I know that we have of circumstances and sometimes our backs or against the wall and sometimes we want to throw in the towel sometimes we want to give up we want to say goodbye God I'm not staying here any longer but somebody said to whom shall I go <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> I got nobody to go to but I go to the rock I know he's able I go to the rock hallelujah he's the holy Take 
you to another time in the life of Peter and Jesus. Because Peter is always showing up. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. I, I don't want to call him nosy. Amen, church. But Peter was willing to hear from God. The Bible said that after the supper was ended, Jesus took a towel. He pulled off his jacket. He pulled off his coat. And he girded himself. Hallelujah. The Bible said he began to wash his disciples' feet. And the same Peter said, No, Lord, go wash me. Now part with me. So Peter said, yeah, you know, Jesus, I want some more of you now. Yeah. So I don't want you to wash me from Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peter said, I want to get a little more close, a little more personal, Jesus. Don't wash me from only. Don't wash me hand. Wash me head. Wash me back. Wash me, Jesus. The reality about Christendom is that the way of God sometimes into the ears of unbelievers as hard-hearted people is cruelty. For those who have not understand who God is, the way of God is foolishness into the eyes of a fool. Hallelujah. So these men that was with him, they were not given to him. Are you with me, church? Because if they were been given to him, they would have understand what he was saying. Are you with me? And sometimes there are people that don't understand and they're going to miss out because they were not given to him. Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell the church something. Even when you're at your lost point, when you feel like there is no hope, and when Christianity or serving God seems like foolishness, oh, bless the name of Jesus. Tell the devil I'm not turning back. God, to whom shall I go? I can't come to you. Jesus says, and this is a misunderstanding and the awe of those that were there. But the Bible says that the carnal man see things carnally. Hallelujah. He that is carnal minded do mind the things of the flesh. But when you are spiritual minded, you see the spiritual view from the thing. And so when Jesus was talking about eating his flesh and drinking his blood, he was talking about his literal flesh, not the blood that flows through his vein. Hallelujah. But Jesus was speaking things into existence, things that was to come, an experience that they would have. And so because based on the scripture there was not given to him by the Father, they did not understand. Just like the Jews, they, they did not understand. They thought what Jesus was speaking was parables. For oh, bless the name of Jesus. To them, it, it was parable. But to those who is to be saved, it was clear. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to talk some serious things now in evangelism. Because just like how God sent Jesus into the world, and, and, and we, we dance and we shout and we give thanks that yes, he came and he died so that we might have life. 
Amen. But did not only do that. If you pay attention to the life of Jesus before he was crucified, he called some people. And like as we study today, they study to show thyself approved. Jesus teaches them the way of salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He did not just come and die, but he paved a way for them to follow. Yes, the example. He set an example. He was teaching to bring out a people. And so when you come to the church of God, God said he gave some prophet. He gave some pastor. He gave some evangelist. He gave them these gifts for the edifying of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And so he placed in the church these people like Jesus was teaching the disciples for us to teach you and to correct you. Praise the name of Jesus. And to put you in a right path so you can have a connection with God. Amen. Jesus was teaching these people so that they could have a connection with God. So that the life that they live here would not be in vain. Amen, amen. amen. But they would find themselves to inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. And so likewise when we teach there are people that take the words of God as if it is a bondage to them. Hallelujah. Uh, they start to look at the pastor with scornful eyes. You don't want to hear the street of God. We start to grumble in the background. Hallelujah. Like these men were grumbling when Jesus was talking. And sometimes we want to pick up with back. We want to pick up with Apache kids. We want to pick up with whom. We want to draw with Jackie. And we want to run out of church. But to whom shall you go? Let me tell you something. Christendom are the king, let me say this. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it is peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. But for peace and joy, we have to come to consciousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see what God required of us. We have to do it. And, and, and as those that are called to lead, we have to set you on the right path. Are you with me? Jesus was setting these people on the right path. Hallelujah. But there were some that were not born for the kingdom. So they could not take what Jesus was saying. Some like everybody is not everybody that comes to church that is going to be saved because some just did not born for the kingdom. Hallelujah. The salmon say you cannot join her. You must be born in her. If you join her, everything will trouble you. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, every time the pastor talk, he might throw a word by you. Every time the evangelist talk, he might throw a word by you. Because you are joined. Yes. But you got to be born in her. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus. So Peter was born. Hallelujah. You don't get the church of God. Peter was not itching upon it. Peter was born into it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because Peter was born into it, Peter could have stopped poorly. To whom shall we go when thou art the living word? Oh, Peter, thou art a rock. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Peter, go out a rock. And upon this rock. Oh Jesus. God can't build church for you if you don't fear the church. God. Hallelujah. You got to be born in earth. 
I want you. I want to show you something. There were twelve of twelve of them, don't it? Yes. But Peter was always the one to talk. Yes. You're not. You're not getting this church. I want you to understand this because sometimes some of we is that that we couldn't graduate grade two and grade three and reach up to grade four. But when we come to class, we don't talk. We don't participate. Oh Hallelujah. Yeah. So you're always lagging behind in class. Glory to God, but Peter said, I want to go on the front seat. Every time the teacher talk, I go and look in my mouth because I want to know more. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You see, when you try to have, you see, relationship is talking. Yes. Don't it? Yes. To have a relationship is to communicate. Yes. Without communication, relationship. Marshal. It's done. It's done. It's done. Before we start. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. A Jamaican talk at you now. Hope you understand it. It's done. Yes. Before we start. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. So for us to have a relationship that grow and mature, we have to communicate. Yes. So Peter was one of those persons that love to talk. Yes. I'm gonna be talk foolishness. Because if you listen where the Bible talk, when Peter talk, Peter talk all the things, things of the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. So Peter was able to grow in the spirit. Bless the name of Jesus. And, and, and I wanna bring back to you Peter again. Before Jesus was crucified. Because the Bible, Jesus tell Peter that he's going to deny him. Amen. Are you with me, church? Amen. Have you ever denied Christ? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And say, Peter, love us. Down me. Amen. What are you talking about, Jesus? Amen. You don't, I love you. Yes, Lord, I love you. Peter, love us, tell me. Yes, Lord, I love you. Oh, God Almighty. So, Jesus said, Peter, you're going to deny me. I can imagine Peter was saying, Jesus, what are you talking about? You have to understand me, I'm a Jamaican. Yeah. And sometimes we love to imagine what the conversation would be like. Yeah. No. And sometimes we know we're going to have a conversation with somebody and we start to imagine, even before we yeah. enter into the conversation, yeah. what the person going to say, how what we going to say to the person. Uh, you yeah, Jamaican style. So if you have that, you are Jamaican. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So I can just imagine Peter was saying, Lord, I don't know, I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> But when the cock crow, oh Jesus, it was a different scenario. Because the same man that said, Lord, you know I love you, was the same man that denied him thrice. Not one time, not two times, but three times. Hallelujah. Peter said, oh, listen to me. Don't crucify me. Don't crucify me. Don't crucify me like my Lord. I'm not worthy. But turn me upside down. Hallelujah. You see, church of God, whatever life gives us as people of God, it is what God has placed on us for we to go through. I'm going to talk to you now like those old folks used to talk to us back in those days. If you don't bring your cross, you can't exchange it for a crown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't pass through some stuff, 
You can't tell somebody that it will be worth it after all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If your garment doesn't get tattered and torn and dirty, you can't wear that robe of white. Ask me about it, man. 
I've been beaten. I've been thrown in prison. Break and see. Talk about it. Hallelujah. I said the men of old sometimes they have to hide in a house. Man up here let down man over a wall in a basket. Are you with me, church of God? They have been through. But guess until more. They went to nobody else but to Jesus. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. 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 And Paul said, I am persuaded amen. that neither height, okay. nor depth, nor principalities, nor power, nor truth present, nor truth to come. Separate me. Shall separate me. Because I can't go back this way. To whom shall we go? When thou art the bread of life. Feed me, Jesus. Amen, amen. Feed me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus said, listen. Your father did eat manna in the wilderness and they died. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Are you with me, church of God? Amen. They ate manna in the wilderness and they died. My God. But whosoever eat of my flesh and drink of my blood shall not die but have life everlasting. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said they turn away because they just didn't understand the mystery. Yes. And Jesus said, go to Peter. The rest of you go. But Peter said, to whom shall I go? Yes, Hallelujah. To whom shall I go? When thou art to whom to whom shall we go? Thou has the word of eternal life. Amen, amen, amen. We go back to the lesson. Thy words have I hid in my heart. That I will sin not against God. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his ways but by taking heed into the words of God? This is my declaration. Whatever we need of God can be found in the Word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Word gives life. The word gives freedom. The words bring healing. Are you with me, church? You just need to speak it into being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, peace be still. You don't get that, church. And the wind and the waves obey, obey him. Amen, amen, amen. In the beginning, he said, Let there be. Speak the word. Speak the word. Amen, amen. Let there be life. You see what I'm talking about? Amen, amen, amen. The word. Amen. Let there be light and there was, was light hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah take up your bed oh God take up your bed and walk Jesus speak and it happen. And we have the same spirit today. Hallelujah. 
Jesus said, you must, or you should ask what you will. And it shall be given. And it shall be what? Given. It shall be done. But oh, you got to believe. Amen. Jesus said. If you believe in all things are possible. But let me say this to you. In spite of what is happening, the only way out is to run to Jesus. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. If you turn around, you might become like Lot's wife. A pillar of salt. Don't turn back. But in spite of what, to whom shall we go? Jesus, don't turn me away. Don't turn me away, Lord. Because without you, I am nothing. Without you, we are dogs and sorcerers. We are nobody. We are like the chaff. With the wind, drive it away. Forward still. It's Jehovah's will. Though the billows dash and spray. With a conquering tread. We will push ahead. And roll a sea away. To whom shall we go? When thou art the word of eternal life. God bless you in Jesus' name.